Okay, anybody else? Well, then can I read just one little bit of my, of my book to you? It always thrills me to read this. It's a short piece, but it carries so much weight. And I'm doing it without my glasses. I mean, this is wonderful. No, it's all right. I had one other money mentor as a child, mama's brother, Uncle John. He was an expert, not in the ways of making money, but in the ways of spending it. Smiling, he would sm stride into our home and paint it with welcome bright laughter. A traveling man, Uncle John toured the carnival routes hawking cotton candy and popcorn, touting a carnival atmosphere into our two serious lives. He threw dollars around simply for pleasure. Money was like, like some magical essence that deeply amused him. He used to put quarters in our ears and then laugh, you know, when he brought them out. There's my friend, Father Steve, hello. <laughs> Unlike my father, his dollars were vital, selfless, and he refused to let my father corner him into a more responsible role. He had no paychecks, no savings, and no anticipated ideal future. One day, while the brothers-in-law played backgammon, Dad mentioned that Uncle John should make a will. Your girlfriends might be around, Dad said. Uncle John leaned back and guffawed. I don't need a will, Charlie. <clears throat> Telling them that being of sound mind and body, I spent it all. <laughs> Dad couldn't handle this free spirit, but Uncle John didn't let it bother him. He kept coming to visit us, this flying saucer of a soul. Decades later, when Uncle John suffered his first heart attack shortly after visiting me in my new role as Sister Mary Adele, and with all my newfound religious zeal, I quickly grabbed my prayer book and beads to assist him right through the gates of paradise if need be. I found him lying on the hospital gurney, quiet and peaceful eyes, closed, his arms across his chest, smiling. But I was all business. After all, according to my mindset then, I was 22 years old, Uncle John had never done penance for his four-letter words, <laughs> his alliances with dozens of women, and other as associated church-condemned practices. <laughs> But I loved him. I simply had to get him heavenly passage. Uncle John, I entreated, say the Our Father with me. He lay still, then raised his head slightly, opened his eyes wide, and studied me intensely. As he eyed the beads in my hand, he quietly proclaimed, Honey, I don't need your prayers. God doesn't, life doesn't owe me a damn thing. Uncle John lived many more years, and his words of faith will stay with me forever. Sure, he wasn't a practicing Christian. He never had been. He never uttered God's name, perhaps except in jest. Yet the divine spark that lives in all of us crackled and leapt to an amazing brightness in Uncle John, illuminating an innocence that never got sucked into upward mobility. For me, he was one of God's mystical money spenders. God would send it and Uncle John would spend it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.